Alright guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to create the Shopify website if you want to resell vendor links. If you don't know who I am, this is what I do. I resell uh, lots of products like shoes, vendor links, one-on-one -on -one products. And I just teach people how to do these types of things. So today we're going to be doing the Shopify website so that you can do the same thing. You're going to resell the vendor links. You're going to resell a digital product basically and everything is going to be done automatic so i'm going to show you guys how to do everything step by step i'm going to walk you through everything so that you guys can go ahead and do the exact same thing if you guys do enjoy make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and before we even get started down below is going to be the link to the vendor links and it's also going to be the link to the shopify website creator or where you can get a dollar per month so shopify usually is around like 30 dollars per month if you sign up with the link down there it'll be a dollar the first month so that'll save you guys a lot of extra money so Make sure you use that so you can save a little bit of extra money. Now let's go ahead into the computer so we can start doing everything um, step by step. All right, guys, we're back here on the computer. So after you click on the link, you should be coming to a website, something like this. This is going to be the free trial. Enter your email address, uh, get your free trial, and sign up. So this is what you're going to do to the first step. This is the first step, okay? Sign up, get the email, get the website going. All right, guys, so once you put in your email, you're going to get a screen, something like this. Let's get started, which best describes you. Now, you can skip all of this if you want to. We're just going to skip it all oh, because we really don't need that. Now, depending on where you're located, you're going to put this. I'm located in the United States. So I'm going to put United States. And then it's going to tell you to sign up with the email that you just used. So sign up with the same email that you just used, um, and you should be good to go. So once you sign up, it's going to say building your store. Just let this load. Um, and. Yeah, we'll just wait right here. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to bring you in here. Um, and at the bottom right, as you can see, it says uh, three days left in your in your trial. Your trial ends on October 25th. Select your plan to get your first month. So that's what we want to do first. We want to go select our plan just so we have everything up and running, everything good, because we need to have the store up before anything else. So let's go select our plan. You're going to go to the plans, and you can choose whichever one you want. Preferably, I recommend the basic or the Shopify. Um, if you want to scale, if you want to do more, then you can obviously do the other ones. If you want to ship out the products, the one-on-one -on -one products from your store, then you can choose some other ones. But for now, the basic one is probably the one that you want to start off with. You can always upgrade uh, depending on anything like that. But I recommend $29 a month. So select the basic plan. Uh, this is going to be pretty good. Um, remember, you guys already, um, you guys are going to get the first month for a dollar. So it's going to save you guys after that, it will charge you $39 a month, which is going to be worth it. Trust me, you're going to be making a lot of money. Everything's going to be profit. So $39 a month, it's not even going to matter by the time that that comes. And you can cancel before if you, you don't get the sales that you want. Just put in your information, get your stuff, and you're good to go. Okay, now that we have that up and running, um, let me just take this away because I already have an account, so I'm not going to do the same thing. Once we have that up and running... Now we are going to go to the online store. So you're going to click online store at the left side of your screen. And this is basically going to show you all the themes. So to be honest, you can stick with the regular theme. People don't really care when you're bu they're buying vendor links. It's not like a regular website. So you should be good to go. You're going to click customize. And this is going to get you into the customizing uh, platform where you can customize the website. Uh, so I'm going to keep it very basic. You can obviously customize it more if you want to customize it more. Uh, but I do recommend customizing in the mobile app because most people are going to be buying in the mobile instead of the other one. So right now, it's just really basic. I personally like uh, dark dark theme um, you know, websites. So if you click on whatever portion you want at the right side, you can change the color. I like to have mine on dark mode. So I'll just go through everything and just switch it to the dark theme and have everything dark mode. So like I said very simple keep it dark um now right here as you can see where it says the pictures app you more than likely want to switch that picture uh personally i would just search up like uh galaxy background that's how i have mine galaxy background you can choose whichever galaxy you want like a black one boom you save something like this save it and then you can go ahead and like just select the image and you can just drop it in there and it'll put it on there in the background. It'll look way, way better, kind of like my website. So you guys can copy the same exact uh, thing as my website. Also, uh, let me go to my website real quick. So let's go to my website and I'll show you guys. So this is how I have mine set up. Obviously, this is the, um, 
desktop mode, so this is how it looks. Uh, same thing as mine, as you can see. If it loads, but yeah, same thing as mine. So same website. Um, also, a lot of people ask, well, how am I going to get all these pictures and stuff like that? This is very easy to do. Uh, what I'm, uh, what you guys can go ahead and do is if you go at the bottom left on your computer, you can click Snip Tool, all right? And then you're going to get this little thing right here. You're going to click New, and you're going to go to whichever one you want, and you're just going to copy it like this. So you can snip it if you want to. Just snip like right up there. You can save that, and you can use the same exact pictures that I have on yours. I do not care. Make your money. I want you to make money. So you can do that. Or you can just go find your own pictures if you want to make it your own. If you want to change it up, you can do that. ChatGPT helps you out a lot. I personally um, just go to like ChatGPT. ChatGPT. I have ChatGPT Plus. I'm not sure if you need it or not, but let's just say you want um, AirPod. Just put like, make me a AirPod clip art. Something like that. It'll make something. just like that it should as you can see i have them all here at the bottom left card holder clip art something like that boom you can take that put it into an editor or just keep it like that and just you know boom something like that um and you can do that for every single product and yeah so then remember if you guys want to get the vendor links you guys can um uh, if you are going to buy it do not buy everything on my website just buy the all vendor bundle the all vendor bundle comes with everything so it's 25 dollars, and you're going to get all of these and it's also multiple links per product uh, so some of the products have multiple, some of them don't. You get that. And then I'm going to show you guys what you need to do next. So uh, as you see, we have the website right now. It just has random stuff, right? Because we don't have any products into our thing. But basically, this is how the website's going to look. Customize it how you want to. Switch out the pictures. Uh, you can switch the name and you can add a bunch of different stuff if you want to do that. All right, so let's go back to the thing. And as you can see, guys, my website name is just Crazy Vendors, my Shopify. It doesn't really matter. You can switch that if you want. So you can buy a domain. I wouldn't recommend right now buying a domain. You're starting off. Keep it simple. Just use your link. All right. So now what we're going to need to add is going to be an app that's going to send the digital products to the um, to the person. So we're going to click on add apps at the bottom left. And it should be Shopify App Store at the bottom. You saw it was in blue. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to search up digital product digital products so i personally recommend using this one it's the big digital download products that the left or over here that's the one that i use you're going to click install and then you just click install once again now this one is free for a bit after a while you are going to have to pay but it's like ten dollars or fifteen dollars a month which is totally worth it trust me it'll be worth it so this is this is the plan that you can get twelve dollars for now you can skip it after you will have to pay um if you just get the free trial you can only do three products so keep in mind do the three best products i recommend airpods all vendor bundle and maybe like cologne or card hoard wallets uh so let's create the shopify so you're going to click create shopify a uh, product so this is going to make the products for the shopify so we're going to put Let's, we're going to make the all vendor bundle, all vendor bundle, boom. You can add a description. So on my website, where is it at? Did I close it? I think I did close it. Okay, yeah, I closed it. Oh, no, it's right here. So on my website, this is what I have. You can copy the same thing. Go to my website, click on my product. Uh, just copy this disclaimer. Vendors will be sent directly to you, not a physical product, just so they know. Uh, put this in the description. Boom. And then here. Remember, guys, we'll go to ChatGPT. Where's ChatGPT? We're gonna take this, but we're just gonna put this picture for now, just an example, right? Click save, and then we could just use that picture. Uh, sometimes it might not work if you do it from ChatGPT. You might have to like convert it. Let's see if this one works. Uh, I should work. Okay, so boom, we have the AirPods. Let's just say this is the. We're just gonna, just for example, now the price. You can choose whichever price you want. You can copy mine. I'm going to put the same price as mine. And this is what I do. So I'm going to do $24.99. Uh, $24.99 compared to $49.99. Just so it looks like it has a discount little you know, thing that you can do. So boom. 
and then cost per item you don't really want to touch that um track quantity you take that off shipping you take that off too because this is a physical product and then you just go all the way down and you click save um you can also go up here and switch uh the i'll show, I'll show you guys right now you can also switch the collection so i would recommend uh adding the featured uh which we will add that we will add that into the website first and then we will come over here so first we got all of this it's active now we got the product we got everything it's on my store we're going to change the collection after and we're good to go so the product is up and running so now we're going to go back to the big digital download it's at the left side and we're going to go ahead and create my first digital product so you're basically just going to walk through the steps uh, name it um all vendor vendor bundle boom that's what we're going to name it uh, at the top, you select product, click the all vendor bundle, and you're going to do the same exact stuff for every single different product. Then we're going to click files. When you guys, um, buy my vendors, you're going to get the file. You can literally just take the same exact file. So we're going to take the file and we're going to put random file. I don't know. I don't know why I got this random match file, but we're gonna put this, this star boom. Let's just say that's the PDF of all the links. We're going to put that in there and we just click save whatever whatever file you put in here guys that's what that's going to send to the email so make sure it's the correct one and then we click save and boom we're done that's literally it that's all you have to do the website is set up that's it you're done now you do this for every single different product obviously uh and you can tweak the tweak the the website so let's go back to the website all right we'll go to the online store uh we'll go to because we're going to switch the Thing like I said, so we're gonna click customize once again. We'll click the phone one, and as you can see, the product is right here. So we already have the product here. Um, you can add um, a little like a feature collection, like how I have mine. If you want to, um, you can go ahead and go on the left side. Uh, you can add a section or a block uh, feature collection. Boom. You can, I, I, I like to have this on the top, so I'll drag this above that one. And then right here, select collection, create collection, or you can just select the one that's already there. We'll just, we'll just select the, the homepage. Oh, no, not that one, actually. We want to create a collection, like how it's doing it. Featured, whatever, save. So this is gonna be the feature collection. We're gonna go back to the product page. We're gonna go in here. You don't have to do this. This is an extra step. You don't really have to do this. Click featured on the product, like on the collections, click save. And then once you go back into the store, it should uh, show up in the feature collection. You don't have to do this. This is what I did. Um, you can you can do however you want. So it'll be right here instead. Uh, so if you have multiple products, there'll be one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. So it'll be like all the products lined up. And then if there's more, that'll click. It'll tell you to to view more. So that's how I have mine. And you can have both. I have both. I have this one, the one that I just set up, and I also have some other ones. So honestly, you probably just need these right here, and that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. The website is complete. The website is done. Uh, the other thing that you got to do is so, right? Everything's done in the website. You already added all the products. Make sure you guys add every single individual product. Also, remember the all vendor bundle is going to be the one that has all of the links. So you're going to want to make separate PDFs for the links by themselves. So the AirPod, just take the AirPod link, put it in the, that PDF, and then put that PDF onto the AirPod. So everything's separated. Uh, but the all vendor bundle is the one that has all the links. Now, right here, it says your online store is password protected. Before your website even goes launched or you can even access it through some link, you guys are going to want to, you know, you guys are already going to be picking a plan. You're just going to want to like, it's going to say unlock. So you just click unlock, boom, it'll unlock the website and you're good to go. Um, after you're done with that, you are going to want to click on settings. You are going to want to go to payments. 
and you are going to want to complete the account setup it's just simple information it's going to ask you for your tax info or whatever and it'll set that up you can also set up the paypal if you don't want to set up that you can just set up paypal i recommend setting up both because people some people buy with cards some people buy with credit card and then some people buy with paypal so set up both of these payments your payments will be up and running it should get proved like literally instantly and you're done that's it that's all you do uh now you copy the link so you can change the name of your website which i'll show you guys real quick uh so we'll go down to settings we'll go down to domain where's domain at? if i can find it domains right here and then right here it says change uh change to a new shopify domain change that name it whatever you want to let's just say you name it funny vendor vendor whatever name it something fun, funny vendor boom save and then boom that's going to be your new the, your new website name and then boom you're done you can go exit out of this you can click on this little eyeball it'll take you to your website which i haven't unlocked mine if you unlock yours it'll take you directly to it uh, you copy this link you put that in your tiktok youtube videos instagram wherever and then people can go to the website it'll take them to the website like just like this they'll go on here they'll be able to buy boom add to cart and then the product will get directly to their email and you just sit back and relax that's it that's really how you make a, a vendor website pretty easy if you guys have any questions let me know make sure you guys do it for each individual product if you guys like this comment down below subscribe i know it was a little bit longer video but i was just trying to explain everything but that's pretty much it peace out and i hope you guys learn a thing or two